how to create a YouTube channel using the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Welcome and welcome back to Gadget Rev Now. Today, another tech editorial where we talk about anything tech related or do fun stuff. And today, we will create a full YouTube video using the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I guess the question we will answer today is, if I will create a YouTube channel and I will start with a smartphone, what accessories will I use and the camera settings to make my video competitive looking than the others? We will talk about the audio setup, the stabilization, the lighting, and the camera app to deliver good quality video on YouTube. Let's go to work. Right now, I'm shooting everything using the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra portrait video UHD at 30 FPS. I was actually asking my wife earlier if she sees something different on this video. She couldn't find anything different until I say, this came from an S23 Ultra. Okay. I mean, I was inspecting this video and the cutout separation is not as good as a proper camera. But if you're viewing this on a smartphone or a tablet, you wouldn't know the difference. So first to talk about the audio setup, if you want to jump to the stabilization, lighting, or camera app, I will leave the timestamp on the description below. So like everyone say it's 50-50, your video should have good audio and good video quality at the same time. And sometimes even though you had a bad looking video, as long as you have the good audio, people will still watch your video. So there are three possible recommendations on your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra for the audio setup. The cheapest will be the wired lapel mic that you can buy on Amazon for $20. Next, you can buy a shotgun mic and if you want to spend a little bit more, you can actually buy a professional microphone like the Blue Yeti and you only need a USB dongle to connect this on your Samsung S23 Ultra. And lastly, if you want to move around, you can also buy a wireless microphone. So right now, let's test the lapel, the professional microphone, and the wireless microphone. Let's start with the lapel microphone for $20. I've been using this lapel mic for the last two minutes of this video. If you're just starting your career as a YouTuber and you're doing just a talking head, I suggest you buy the most inexpensive one. So this is the sample of the cheapest lapel mic. Now let's talk about the Blue Yeti professional microphone. And check one, two, three, check one, two, three. This is the Blue Yeti professional microphone. For this setup, you have to use the dongle, the USB-A to USB-C to work. And as I was reviewing the sound quality of the Blue Yeti, there's a little bit of hissing sound, but you can always, always correct this in post. So yeah, this is the Blue Yeti professional microphone. Now let's check the wireless microphone. And this is the best possible audio quality you can get on your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This is the wireless microphone from Movo. It's around $70 to $80, but on Amazon, you can actually get a cheaper brand, which is around $30 to $40. And as you can see, I can move around and the voice quality or the loudness of my voice will not change. Next, let's talk about your option for stabilization in your YouTube channel. There's actually four options you can use on Samsung S23 Ultra and you'll be surprised that gimbal is not one of them. Your first option, if you're just doing a talking head video, a tripod is good enough if you're not moving around and your content revolves around conversation. A tripod and lapel mic is good enough. If your content is more of a walking type vlog where you will shoot yourself, I would use a monopod and maybe a shotgun microphone. The stabilization of S23 Ultra is good enough for walking and running. Again, if you want to save a little bit more, you can always go for a lapel mic and a monopod. If you're shooting more of a scenery and you're at the back of the smartphone, instead of buying a gimbal, I'll be using a metal cage because it gives you more control over the smartphone. Also, if you accidentally drop the phone, the metal cage will protect it. And lastly, I'll be using a moving base or a panning base like PivoPod with wireless microphone if I'll be moving around a lot more with myself. Also, if you're doing a little bit of active movement, then the Pivo app can track you. So this is the best vlogging setup you can get on your Samsung S23 Ultra. You have the Pivo Pod that pans around while you're moving and also the wireless microphone from Movo. Around $200 for the Pivo Pod and $70 to $80 for the wireless microphone on Movo. So on top of the Samsung Galaxy S23, which is around $1,500, it's around $1,800 for the setup. Next, when you talk about smartphone vlogging, you really don't need a studio type lighting for your smartphone. Because normally the algorithm of smartphone is better than cameras for the most part. These smartphones like iPhone 14 Pro and S23 Ultra takes brighter videos most of the time compared to the camera on auto mode. So for lighting, I'll just make sure that my face is well lit because sometimes smaller sensors will give you noisier output on low light environment. I will make sure I'm near the windows or doors of the house or I can also buy a small light that you can buy on Walmart or Amazon for less than $10. Ring lights are also a great alternative for lighting if you find your area challenging. This is the sample of me with and without the ring light. 
And lastly, let's talk about the camera of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. What are the settings that I'll be using for vlogging? Since the phone has 12 or 16 gigs of RAM, this phone can easily shoot 4K video recording or you can even go 8K. And the video footage on 8K video recording is really stable. S23 Ultra has some really awesome set of cameras. For a more interesting background, I will use the portrait video 4K 30fps, so it gives me a little bit of subject separation from the background, and you put light at the back, it will make the video more interesting. But if you want to show off more of your environment, you can also use the ultra wide lens. For a more challenging situation wherein you're probably talking to someone else, or you're probably showing something on the background of your video, I would use the selfie camera, although the quality is less than the main sensor, but that guarantees you that the subject will be in frame. This is the sample of the portrait video UHD 30fps and as you can see, there's a little bit of background blur. This is the regular 4K 30fps video. This is more for landscape mode if you want to see everything on the shot. And this is the biggest resolution for Samsung S23 Ultra, 8K at 30fps. Actually, the stabilization for 8K video recording is pretty impressive. As you can see, I'm panning, I'm walking, and the stabilization is good. So these are the things that I'll consider if I'll be using Samsung S23 Ultra for my YouTube vlogging. So these are the four things I'll be adding on my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. You must have a good audio. I think it's far more important than the footage, although S23 Ultra has a really good set of cameras for video recording. The video should be stable if you're doing a talking head, it's a done deal, but if you're moving around, the phone even offers super steady video. There should be good enough light for the subject, and if you're doing mostly daylight video, it's not a problem, only when it gets darker. And lastly, you should have proper camera settings for your videos. I know lots of content creators are using 4K 24 and 30 FPS. This phone even future proofs it at 8K 30 FPS. Overall, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is a great phone not just for communication, but I think it's also good or even better for content creation. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this helpful, I'll make more of these videos moving forward. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.